Daddy, stop, please! It's a party, isn't it? Grab a whore and have a good time. <laughs> Savor the hunt, boys. Take this little elven wench here. So young and vulnerable. Touch me and I'll gut you, you pig! Please, my lord. We're celebrating weddings here! Silence, worm! I know what you're thinking, but maybe we shouldn't get involved. Fine. But let's try to be diplomatic, shall we? What's this? The two grooms come to welcome me personally. <laughs> Do you have any idea who I am? Are you insane? This is Varn Orion, the Isle of Denerim's son. What? Oh, Maker. You've a lot of nerve, knife ears. This'll go badly for you. Oh, I really messed up this time. It'll be all right. He won't tell anyone an elven woman took him down. I... I hope so. I should get cleaned up. Is everybody else all right? I think we're just shaken. What was that about? <laughs> Looks like the Arl's son started drinking too early. Um, well, let's not let this ruin the day. Uh, uh, this is Valora, my betrothed. Pleased to meet you. Soros has said so much of you. <laughs> Some even positive. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me in trouble, Nessiara. We'll leave you two alone now. Well, here we are. Are you nervous? I was nervous on the trip down, but now that I'm here, I'm looking forward to what's next. It was hard to leave Hyaver, but your father's matchmaker spoke highly of you, and rightfully so. Denerim itself seems friendlier than Hyaver. Perhaps because it's so large that humans take less notice of us. Come on, cousin. We should let them get ready. We'll see you two in a bit. Don't disappear on us. Or we'll hunt you down. <laughs> Don't look now, but we have another problem. Another human just walked in. Could be one of Vaughn's or just a random troublemaker. Either way, we need to move him along before someone does something stupid. Let's do this quickly. Good day. I understand congratulations are in order for your impending wedding. I do. I believe, however, that I may have already found what I was seeking. That is my business. I'm sorry, but I have no intention of leaving. He keeps his composure even when facing down an unknown and armed human. A true gift, wouldn't you say, Valendrian? I would say the world has far more use of those who know how to stay their blades. It is good to see you again, my old friend. It has been far too long. May I present Duncan, head of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden. The worst has happened. A blight has begun. King Caelan summons the Grey Wardens to Ostagar to fight the Darkspawn Horde alongside his armies. 
Yes, I had heard the news. Still, this is an awkward time. There is to be a wedding, too, in fact. So I see. By all means, attend to your ceremonies. My concerns can wait for now. Very well. Uh, children, treat Duncan as my guest. And for the Maker's sake, take your places. Please, do not let me interrupt further. We shall speak more later. Was there something else? By all means. Valandrian and I have known each other for almost 20 years, since the time I tried to recruit your mother, in fact. I did. Your mother was a fiery woman. She would have made an excellent Grey Warden. I never made the offer. Valendrian convinced me that it was better for her to remain here with her family. As there was no blight and thus no immediate need for recruits, I deferred to his wishes. But it seems she passed her training on to you. Am I right? I've already heard a great deal about you, if you must know. But we can speak more of this later. You have a wedding to attend. Was there something else? By all means. What would you like to know? In fact, some of our greatest heroes have been Elven. The Warden Garahel, he that slew the last Archdemon, was such a one. I could tell you a great deal more about them, but I suspect you've other things to do at the moment. We dedicate our lives to fighting Darkspawn wherever they appear, doing whatever it takes to stop them. It is our only charge. All in good time. I suggest you have your celebration while you can. My best wishes to you both. <laughs>